Welcome folks, we would like to show you how to use uh, B-SPY simulation to simulate a very simple uh, circuit with uh, NBN BJT transistors. So uh, uh, let's start loading the LT SPICE. So I'm going to click on it. Uh, so the interface main menu is uploaded. I'm going to uh, start by creating a new schematic. And then I'm going to add parts. So the first part I'm going to add will be the transistor. So I'm going to use the 2N3904 transistor. So I'm going to click on Get Component. Here I'm going to click on NPN. NPN is a type of transistors, bipolar junction transistors. So I want to make sure to click on the NPN with no extensions. It's the first one in the list because you have NPN 2, 3, and 4. Now I'm going to select the first one, which is NPN. So I'll say OK. I will place it somewhere in my schematic window. And now I'm going to right click on it. So I will come over the transistor and I will right click my mouse. Uh, so I will have this interface. I'm going to say that pick a new transistor. I will click on pick a new transistor. And the second transistor from the top on the list is the 2N3904. That's the one I will use. So this one has those parameters. We call them model parameters. Those are the model parameters for this transistor. So I'm going to click on it. So now this transistor have used the model for the 3904 that is provided by LT Spice. Now I'm going to connect the rest of the circuit. So I'm going to have the three resistors. This is the top resistor over here. It's RC. This is the bottom resistor at the bottom, which is going to be RE. And then I'm going to rotate the, tr the resistor and then flip it. And then I'm going to click here. And I will have this resistor to be RB. So those are the three resistors I will have. So RB will have the value of 47K. I can change the name of it if I want it and I can make it RB so I can call it RB this resistor here gonna be 2.2k uh, so I will write 2.2k remember that I come into the resistor and right click on the mouse I'm gonna change its name so I come on it and I right click on the name and I'm gonna call it RC and the last resistor at the bottom I'm gonna right click on it and I will do 2.2k and then I'll right click on the name and I will call it RE and I'm gonna also need uh, two DC voltage sources so the first DC voltage source uh, will be 5 volts. So I'm going to come and I'll click on components. I will write voltage. So I will have one voltage source over here that's going to equal 5 volts. And another voltage over here that's going to be 10 volts. So I'm going to right click on this one. I'll say it's 5 volts. And I'll right click on this one and I'll enter 10 volts. And then I'm going to start connecting the uh, circuit. So this resistor, which is the RC, will be connected to the collector of the transistor. This resistor RB will be connected to the base of the transistor. And this resistor uh, RE will be connected to the emitter of the transistor. Then RC will be connected to the voltage source and RB will be connected to the 5 volts voltage source and all those voltages at the bottom gonna be grounded so I'm gonna connect them together like that
and I have to add the ground. If I don't add the ground, I will have an, an error in my simulation. So now we're going to uh, add simulation. All what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do the operating point for uh, the simulation. So I'm going to click on run. And now it will give me the options. So I'm going to collect DC operating point. Uh, I'll click OK. Now it did run the simulation. That means there is no error to it. At this point, I can determine what's the base current, the collector current, and the emitter current. So if you look here where it says IC, IC will be roughly around 1.83 milliamp. And IB will be roughly around 6.06 .06 microamp. IE is given a negative because IE is the current going into the emitter, but is shown to be a negative. It's actually the current leaving the transistor, right? So this is going to be 1.838 milliamp. IE ideally should be positive value. However, the simulation defines it as the current going into the transistor. Uh, so, and then what you need to know is you need to know what's the voltage at the base, what's the voltage at the collector, and what's the voltage at the emitter. So, the voltage at the collector here going to be Vn2, that's the voltage at node 2, that's going to be 5.96 volts. The voltage at the base is going to be the voltage at node 4. That's going to be 4.715. So the voltage here is going to be 4.715. So And the voltage here is going to be 4.04433 volts. Now you can print the schematic by clicking print, but it will not show the operating point. So one way to show the operating point is to go to print screen. So if I click on print screen, it will print the screen. There is different ways of doing it. One way is to come to Word and you do Control V. That basically gonna uh, baste the screen into a Word document. And now you can print the whole thing. Another one is I can use the Bint software. Some computers have it for free. So now I can, once I load the band, I can do control V. And now I can select the window that needs to be printed. So I'll do something like this. Here I will select that. I'll do control C, that's copied. I'll come to Word. Let's delete this and we're going to do control V. So now it only shows the portion of the image to be ported into a word. I can also rotate it if I want it 90 degrees like this. And now I can print it as a Word document or I can keep it inside my report as part of my uh, results or simulation results. So. This was very quick way of using LT Spice to simulate a circuit with the transistor and using the DC bias point or the operating point. I hope you enjoyed this video. This was a very quick tutorial on how to show you how you can use LT Spice to simulate uh, circuits with uh, uh, BJT transistors.